I wanted to put a quick video together to explain the fundamental differences between a Fujifilm X-Trans sensor and why it should be on your radar as compared to a standard CMOS sensor that uses a Bayer filter system. If you haven't seen my video on how a pixel gets its color, I'll put it in the description and a link on the video. Check it out. It's really educational. It helps us understand how camera sensors don't capture so much color. They capture filtered amounts of light and then the processor uses that information to patch together the image. It's a really amazing miracle how it works every time. Now, standard CMOS sensors that we see in most Canon, Nikon, Sony, Panasonic cameras, most of them use something called a Bayer filter array. It's two green photosites staggered with a red and a blue photosite. Now, when I say that, those photosites are designed specifically to capture green light, red light, or blue light, and they're staggered at a ratio of two greens to one red and one blue. This pattern repeats itself over and over and over again in standard CMOS cameras. The problem with this is, is because that pattern repeats itself so frequently and on such a small level, we get this grid pattern, is that when we begin to shoot other patterns, such as a plaid shirt, maybe horizontal lines, maybe vegetation in nature, is the, there is incongruency between the subject matter that we're shooting and the grid of the Bayer array. And when these grids start to overlap each other, we begin to see things such as moray or color fringing. It's something that we've seen in most modern DSLR cameras for years. It's annoying as heck, especially in video. For stills, we can clean it up. Video, it's a real problem. So what camera manufacturers have done to help minimize the amount of, of moray that they see is they've introduced something called a low-pass filter, which essentially softens up the image a little bit. And this helps reduce moray and maybe not make it as noticeable. And this is what we've been shooting with for years. So Fujifilm has come out with something called the X-Trans sensor. Instead of being a two by two uh, filter set, this is a six by six with each color pixel being adjacent to either a green, a red, or a blue. They have to have that to extract color information. But because of the configuration of this particular X-Trans six by six grid, repeated over and over, it is not as regular and grid-like as a Bayer filter set. And so because of its irregularity in how it captures these different colors, moray is reduced. And because moray is reduced, Fujifilm doesn't require a low-pass filter being between the lens and the sensor. So the result of this for Fujifilm's X-Trans sensor is number one, you have reduced moray and color fringing in places that we would see on other cameras. But the second thing, and maybe even more importantly, is that the sharpness is increased. So this is why it is very hard to find Fuji's brand new X-T2, for example, is because they're sold out everywhere. I have a lot of friends who have purchased Fuji cameras, they try them out, and they give up whatever they're shooting with. So be aware that even though Fujifilm has a very small market share right now, uh, their sensor technology is cutting edge, and it's something you guys should be aware of. So a couple take-home messages. What creates moray? Bayer filter sets as they line up on certain patterns in nature, maybe man-made objects, the, that camera companies are trying to reduce this with an optical low-pass filter. Fujifilm uses a different color pattern in the capturing of light to create color, and therefore the images are less moray, less color fringing, no low-pass optical filter is needed, and therefore the images are sharper. So there's a fundamental sensor difference in Fujifilm cameras. In any event, that's a quick introduction to the X-Trans sensor. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I have a lot more coming. If you found this video helpful, you may be interested in my new Fuji X-T2 crash course. I'll teach you the basics and show you how to shoot like a pro in no time. You can order it from the following link.